when the nigga what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's raven simone and i have a new makeup tutorial for y'all and i'm so excited about it look at it it's so sparkly and feminine and like girls night looking you could go out with your boo it's just fun a fun makeup tutorial to start off our 2019 year and i promise to be more consistent this year y'all so yeah let's get right into it so to start off, I'm going to wipe my face. It's so dirty. My face is so dirty. Wipe my face with... First, I'm gonna start by wiping my face with these makeup remover wipes. It's a knockoff brand, but whatever. I've been out, so... I've only been to the library today, but I still have dirt on my face so yep i haven't done a makeup tutorial on youtube in forever i'm lucky excited but so now i'm gonna go in with this primer this is the studio perfection primer by nyx i love this primer it's so soft this is literally like the softest primer i've ever used it reminds me of um Smashbox primer. It's soft. And make sure you put on your eyebrows too. I put my primer on my eyebrows. Some people don't, but I feel like it makes a difference when you're feeling them in and stuff. So. Next, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. And I'm going in with this mix pencil just to brush them, this spoolie, and just brush my eyebrows. I might speed through this because y'all already probably seen my um, YouTube how to on my eyebrows. So it's really the same thing. So I'm taking this Morphe brush and i don't think it it does have a number this is the m165 brush by morphe and i'm using this to carve out my brows with my anastasia dip um pomade and chocolate because i have very dark brown hair dark brown eyebrows so use that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this concealer. And this is in the color Tan Sand. And I'm going to take my Morphe brush. This is the... doesn't have a number because I think it came in like a value pack or something. So there's no name on this. But it's flat. And I love the flat brushes for my um, eyebrow concealer because they're easy to work with. And one key I've actually found out is when I usually like do my eyebrows like... Um, do my concealer under my eyebrows then i'll clean my brushes or whatever it makes it so fluffy to where the line isn't straight anymore so i wait to wash the brushes after like three four uses and then i wash it because i like how it's not stiff but it's straight it's not raggedy so i'm gonna do that
So now I'm gonna use my damp um, Real Technique sponge and I'm gonna blend out my concealer cause it's dry. It's like super matte actually. Cause this is a Tarte Shape Tape and their stuff dries extremely fast. Especially if you don't hurry up and work with it. It's gonna dry real fast. But I don't mind when it dries super fast on my um, eyelids and on my eyebrows. But I hate letting it sit so long on my highlighted areas when I do my full face. Blend that. I'm super excited for this look I got planned, but if it comes out ugly, then I'm not uploading this. I'm just saying. Make sure you get the middle. I cannot see. I have to get context. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Make sure it's all blended together. Eyebrow snatched, hunty. And they're not dramatic either, because I know some people like super dramatic eyebrows. I don't like that. So now I'm finna take my Morphe brush. This is a, I don't know, brush. So, what is a Morphe brush? And the first color i'm gonna go in with this is the which morphe palette is this is a 35m boss mood palette okay i'm going in with this pinkish reddish color some type of foam color i'm using that first and coat my brush with it like that and i'm gonna put that all over my crease. I want it to go higher, but not too higher. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to be. I want you to tell that it's there, but I don't want it to be dramatic. Perfect. And do the other side. So, lately a lot of people have been asking me about, um, where I dress, I mean, oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> about where I get my clothes from and how do I go about picking out my clothes and websites or stores I go to. And personally, I don't really like, um, I don't like going in stores shopping. I just, I don't like it. I don't like um, looking at clothes through racks like moving the clothes side to side like i don't like that i don't have time for that i much rather like online shop honestly because it's fun not only do i don't do i not ugh, i can't talk not only do i not have to like worry about people um it's just easy it's convenient and it's exciting especially like when you got a package coming like that's exciting Mm. So, for most stores, I usually go, if I just feel like I have to go to a store, I'm going to go to um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls or something. But hold on, y'all. The next color I'm going to go in with is, I'm going with this one. At first we used this one, so now I'm going to use this one. But um, I like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and all of those stores. But you know what? Ross be so messy and it makes me so mad. I hate looking in there. My mom loves looking in there. But I hate looking in there. It's so messy. It makes me mad. But um, 
I like TJ Maxx and stuff, especially like if I'm looking for something like a little dainty shirt or a little dainty necklace, TJ Maxx is the way to go. But if I was like online shopping, girl, I'd be a fashion over. I love their website. I love all their stuff. And I like pretty little things too. I just got hooked on pretty little things and I low-key think that their quality is better than um, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is really cheap, but um, pretty little things, wow. I like pretty little things. And they always have sales, like Fashion Nova always has like 20% off, 30% off, 25% off. And even when they have 20% off and 25% off, their 30% off coats still work. So. You can still use those, sis. And bro, because Fashion Nova got men's stuff too. And I've actually gotten a couple things from the men's section. I got some joggers and a jacket. But I have to give the jacket away because it's too big. So now, I'm going to go in with this color. It's like a deeper version of all those other colors. So I'm going with that. With the same brush because it's not going to hurt. And just brush that all over. Ooh, they really deepened it up. But, um... I love online shopping. I've never bought anything from um, Forever 21 online though. If you have, let me know. Do they even have sales online? Like codes? Never shopped um, them online. I'm just deepening up my crease with this color. So now, I am about to go in So now I'm gonna go in with this black and I'm gonna deepen up my crease even more with this black color because I'm gonna do a cut crease and it's probably gonna be black so I'm gonna go ahead and not carve it out but see where I want it to be at. Cause I got little bitty eyes, like look how small they are. Look at that little bitty crease. So I'm gonna get some black on this and this is a Morphe brush as well. There's no number on it. I'm gonna start low and work my way up. Ooh, this is really black. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is real black. Just bring that over. And you know what? I was gonna put a base down for the black, but I really don't need one. Cause you know sometimes you can use eyeliner and then put put the eyeliner like gel eyeliner all over your lid and then go on top with a black or a dark blue and it'll make it pop but i'm really surprised at this so i can just go ahead and put that all over so i'm gonna go up a little higher And just blend those two colors together. Ooh, this is cute.
So I'm about to go in with this same brush that I used for their last plum color and go in and blend the black and the plum together a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more blended. I don't want it to look like a harsh line. to go in with this NYX glitter primer and I love this primer and it's like a glue but it's not like a glue you know what I mean and I'm just taking this random flat brush and I'm going to dab some right here they have a glue one and they have one for um pigments but I'm gonna use the glue one because we're using glitter the glitter glue so right now I'm going to um, like carve out where I want my glitter at. mixed up it's like a mixture of blues and blacks and I think it's a little purple in here too but mix that together so I'm gonna dab it in there oh It don't have to be perfect, like it's glitter. But I do want the black to still show. You know what I mean? Like the black layer we carved out for the cut crease, I still want that to show. Make sure you pack it on. Ooh, this is so cute. Can y'all see? New eye hoodies. <laughs> So now I'm gonna do the next eye. Okay, so now that I'm done with this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and start back on this eye with some more glitter. Look at this glitter, y'all. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. This glitter is from Hobby Lobby and it's so bomb. So I've never used it on my eye before. So today will be the first time I use it on my eye. And I'm thinking about just putting it like, I don't know, I was thinking just the center, but I may just do it all half. I don't know, I'll see. So I'm just going in with some more glue. I'm just tapping the glue. Cause I don't want to rub it and then all my um, other glitters start to come off. So I'm gonna do like halfway up to here probably. I don't know how it works. Oh. Maybe I should use my hand. Let's see. I 
think I need more, um, more glue. These are sort of hard to, um, put on, or is it just me? Like, I don't know. That looks stupid. Maybe too many right here. Yeah. Maybe mm, these are difficult. Let me do the other eye. Okay, y'all. Okay. Now that I have done this eye, it's time to do my eyeliner. So. So for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with this NYX um, matte liquid liner. In. Okay, so I got my eyeliner. And next is my favorite part which is foundation i love doing the face it's like my favorite part one of the easiest parts well to me so i'm gonna start off with the anastasia um foundation stick and this is in the color amber and then once i do that i'll go in with my lancome foundation and this is in the color 430 bisque something like that so this so where is I'm gonna use a brush. So go in with my foundation. Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Tan. Yeah. Usually just come together because it's usually so much right there. Anyway, so while that's working up, I'm going to go ahead and start my contour. So yesterday, 
I tried um, cream contouring and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna try it again and I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Chestnut to contour. So if I mess up, don't, don't be judging. I'm just practicing. So let's see. The line. Do that. But all come together. I'm not cream contouring my nose and my chin and stuff. So I'm gonna just do that. And then I'm gonna take a I had Oh, this sponge is low-key dirty, but we're going to use it. And it's not damp. I didn't like, um, I would rather, um, do my cream contour with it not damp because it's hard. And I feel like I have more control when it's hard for contour, not for my concealer. So I'm going to blend that out. Did I do it? Ooh, ooh! I did it. It's so cute. Ooh! I need to hurry up before that. Um, my concealer starts to um get stuck. Cause that heart shaped tape dries so quick, y'all. I feel like if this was wet, it wouldn't give me the same results, honestly. And that's just my opinion. It is harder to like press down with them, but. Ooh, I did it again. I'm happy. Now I can say I got cream cut to it. Of course, I'm gonna set this, but this is just like the base y'all this mirror is from LA Pro Girl LA <laughs> it's not from LA Pro Girl I made impressions vanity just in case you were wondering I do have a video on this on my channel that I will link in the description box below if you want to know more about it so now I'm switching back over to my damp sponge for my concealer under my eye This is my foundation brush that I use. There's no foundation on there, but I just want to blend it. 
everything together. Look at that, it's smooth. Like, see, it really don't matter what kind of product you use as long as you know how to work them. I may do a drugstore um, video. So next I'm going to set my face using this, ooh, using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm setting all the areas I highlighted. Like that. And now I'm going to... Um, so now I'm gonna contour. I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is like my go to, low key, the only one I have, the only one I can afford right now. So this is what we're using. And I'm going in with this color. And I don't know the name. Earth. That's the name. So I'm gonna set my contour with Earth. And I'm using a Morphe brush as well. I don't think it has a number. It doesn't have a number. So. And when I set my contour, when I contour in general, I don't just do right here. I like it to come up a little higher. Like usually where you would probably place like blush or something. I like mine to be high up. So it looks like, you know, got them high cheekbones like I'm puckering up. And you can like carve this out. Let me see if I wanna. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I should have used another color. But. So I'm gonna take my setting powder and do this. So I can have a little cut. Contour my little nose. This is a Morphe brush as well. I keep hitting the camera. So now, wipe my setting powder off with my other So I'm gonna wipe my more So I'm gonna wipe my foundation. I'm gonna, ugh. I'm gonna wipe I'm gonna wipe my setting powder off with my Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's like this and it's perfect. It's just dirty, but it's perfect for. Um okay, so 
so I apply my lashes off camera and my bottom liner off camera because it takes me forever to do my lashes and we would have been all day so got those on are they cute I feel like a butterfly so now I'm going to take this little palette from Ulta by Ulta brand and this is a holographic eye cheek palette I'm gonna use this purple color it's probably hard to see on here but they are really light but I'm gonna use this purple corner I mean the purple color for my inner corner highlight and I'm gonna use some of this one too to bump it up and I'm just using oh dang and I'm just going in with a small morphe brush this is the m326 brush and dab that Do I need to come closer? Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I wish it was a little more purpley though. That's so cute. Wow, it's like electric or something. looks like it's freaking glowing look at that my lips look so white from my foundation but wait give me a second so now that that's done i'm going to spray my face with this morphe setting spray this is bomb y'all this is so freaking bomb and it sprays like a freaking hairspray like it's just it's just so misty so spray that on my cheek make sure i get it on my cheeks really well because I'm about to go in with some highlighter and I'm using my Artist Couture highlighter of course and usually whatever is left on the top I use that and I go in I go to town on my cheeks just wait for the powder to get a little dry and then just tap tap I don't want too I don't want it to be too bright because I mean, I want the show to be on my eyes, not my cheeks. The show. What about the guy? Just a little something. And here I am, been a lot. Sometimes I be applying it like it's blush or something, but works for me. Then I'm going to do my nose. I like to do my nose with my finger. God, look at all of that. Mmm, that's a lot. Take it. I'm not doing brow bone highlight because you girl don't need it, okay? So, next. Ugh, what's next? I hope y'all can see me well because I can't see. So, I'm going to spray with my Fix Plus because this gives me that extra oomph on all the little highlighted areas. Makes everything pop. Look at me. Call me pop because I'm pretty on purpose. Had to catch it. And now it's time for the lips. I'm gonna use one of these dirty sponges. I mean, dirty rags I already used earlier to wipe off my lips so I can do something. I don't know what color. I wanna do like nude, of course. Nude gloss. Mmm, that sounds pretty. So 
so I have um, cork lip liner by Mac and I'm gonna line my lips with that actually this is chestnut sorry so I'm gonna line my lips with that Come in. Hey. That's pretty. Thank you. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, you put them chunks on there? Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm in the video? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Thanks, boy. Oh. <laughs> I'll be out there in a minute. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is the Anastasia. Um, Lip gloss, undress. Yes, y'all, this is lip gloss and it looks like lipstick. But I'm using that. And then I'm gonna go in with Oyster Girl by MAC. I love Oyster Girl. It's like, it's beautiful. But y'all, that was my roommate, Zadia. Y'all know Zadia. My battery about to die. What the heck? I'm just outlining a little bit more so it could blend. And then the chestnut sort of got covered by the um And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and let me know if you liked it or not. Give me a thumbs up. And let me know what was your favorite part. Did you like the big chunks of glitter? Did you like my lashes? So, yeah. Thank you, guys. And I promise there will be more videos coming up. More makeup tutorials coming up this year. Just give me time. I've been going through a lot with school. So, just give me time. And I promise I'll be up. Thank you.